morning. This is Pastor Lynn, and we are still counting our days until Easter. We are on day 40. Who will be the most prominent people in heaven? Matthew 19 says this, When the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one who has left houses, brothers, sisters, father, mother, children, or fields because of my name, will receive one hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. We generally list church leaders and evangelists, popes, and council people as holding heaven's chief top ten positions. But how much chance is there that these will be the most prominent ones? Is it possible that those who have achieved religious prominence in this world will find their heavenly glory eclipsed by devout chambermaids and praying cobblers? The pecking order of heaven is not based on earthly triumph. Heaven will measure our achievement by how we have lived up to the level of our gifts. God wants us to be ardent in pursuing service and private adoration. In heaven, we shall be measured only against the level of our ability. Heaven's pecking order contains a wonderful glory. God will never require of us anything he has not equipped us to achieve. But to achieve heaven as a place of power must never concern us. What genuine believer ever wanted to go to heaven just to gain power? There is only one real motive in heaven, a lover's desire to be united with Christ. Perhaps this craving isn't designates, itself designates all who would be first. Those who love Christ the most on earth will stand closest in eternity to the object of their love. Should we not then lose ourselves in worship this Easter? Will this longing not compel us to be ministers among those he died to save? In short, all things wonderful begin in our adoration of Christ. We often hear that the world has yet to see what a soul entirely devoted to Christ might accomplish. Only his supreme love could motivate such a servant, such driving adder, will never hunger to rule in heaven. It will only glory in its coming union with Christ. So, our thought for the day, the humble really see those strengths that so endear them to God. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a great day.